<laughs> Hi. We got to have this conversation. Doesn't matter who I am. You know the reason why I left the city of Chicago? I'm going to tell you why. I've stood at the DJ space for years. Of course, I've had other streams of income. At one point, natural hair was my primary stream of income. I've stood in the DJ booth in many of venues. And over the years, I have analyzed activations. I've watched bar sales. I've watched staff. I've watched security. I've watched the development of spaces in great locations. I've watched the development of spaces in not so great locations. I've shadowed owners. I've shadowed management. I have closed the books for venues. I have managed social media for venues. I have watched and listened enough to understand what maintains a budget. It is akin to you in your home making the decision that you need to cut the things you don't need in order to keep the roof. I'm watching it again. I'm watching it again. The reason why I have taken the angle and perspective that I have is because my love of music, in addition to hospitality at large, is so strong that I've wanted to be on the side behind the business instead of being the ego in front, dancing and bopping and singing and clapping with the audience. If I had to create a comparison, it would be to where we are currently in politics. And the reason why Kamala Harris is kind of being drug, and this is not a political conversation directly, but if the owners and management are in front of the camera and not behind the books in the office running the business, how long do you think it's going to last? Do you see all the owners parlaying and kicking it? in the camera, on the floor with the business? Do you see them getting up at 8, 7, 6 a.m. to make sure it's managed, to make sure that the lights stay on, that the rent gets paid, that food is on the table? Do you see any of those things? Or do you see them in front of the camera? If you see all of them in the front of the camera and not in the back of the house managing, you should be concerned. There are positions to be played. And the reason why these positions are supposed to be played is so that it garners the interest. It has to be a solid understanding and a cohesiveness and consistency that says this is solid enough to maintain itself. If that does not happen, the likelihood that it will be contained and kept is not that great. We could have a conversation about the Catron, not a video that I posted. We could have a conversation about Diddy as it pertains to this. And the fact that you replaced all of the talent in front of the camera 
And whomever was running the business in behind may not have been maintaining the system. If you are the owner, you maintain the system. You don't get to be the talent in front of the camera. I have learned this very well, especially in the last five years. Why would I continue to be mindless and just DJ? Like a trillion other people are just DJing and not getting behind the business of what makes all of this work or at least creating allies behind the business so that it can fortify and justify the budgets of music. Happy Libra season. <laughs> I know too much. I know too much. Oh, everybody's hopping up and jumping around and doing all the things and wants to be in the front, in the front of the house. That's not where the rent gets paid. That's not where the rent gets paid. The rent gets paid in the back. If you're not in the back, you don't know enough. If we have more people in the back learning instead of being in the front, where would we be? We would have more ownership. We would have more people aspiring to collaborate, to either get ownership or secure investments to maintain, right? I'm probably insane at this point based on the idea that I'm still trying to figure out how to get behind the camera. I'm going to just, I'm going to fall back. One of my projects I'm barely a part of. Somebody asked me why I didn't want to be in the front. And I said, because I'm learning the behavior of an owner, a full fledged owner. Now, if you have someone who can manage your social media and you're paying them, then you get the luxury of staying behind the camera behind the business. If it means you have to sacrifice being in the front and losing your space in order to get to the back of the house, to get to the business, sacrifice it. Sacrifice it. Because we don't need any more talent. We don't need people hopping up and trying to be a star. We need the foundation of this space, oh, in every way, to be ran by people who have brains, who are thinkers. Thinkers are likely creative. Thinkers probably don't look like any of these people who you're seeing floating and gloating and all of these things. They don't look like any of those people. They ain't even cute, honey. I know more wealthy people who are unattractive. <laughs> I know more wealthy people. Look at your ex-vice president. A fool. A whole fool. And I'm not, I worked for him at one point. I went and saw the operations. He doesn't know anything that's happening on the premises, but he has a bunch of people who are running it. And what they're doing is running at him with the numbers. And somebody else is looking at the numbers and making executive decisions. You cannot do all of that in the front of the house. You cannot do it in the front of the camera. We got too many people in front and not enough people in the back doing better business. Do I love music? You should know as a Libra, I do. Do I love to dance and have a party and have a great time? Of course I do. Am I having that time right now? No, I'm not. You want to know why? Because I'm more concerned about maintaining and elevating the space, the numbers, and the experiences so we can continue to have the roof that holds the party. And that is all I have to say to you today.